Yeah, heats on um, is for veterans in need. Um, heats on is what it says. It's turning the heat on, making, their, making sure the heat actually works. Um, a lot of these, a lot of veterans that we go to have given up a lot and it's, the, it's something we can do to give back. Um, it's pretty much if there's any issues with anybody's heat, which luckily there wasn't any issues this time, um, but in the past we can actually, we've, we've actually replaced full furnaces before based on their condition, um, if they're danger, carbon monoxide again, if there's anything like that. Or I've personally replaced a gas valve and a motor at a couple years ago. But luckily again, we had no issues here. Um, but I'm sure we'll, someone will be replacing a furnace today at some point, so. I was uh, in the Army uh, during Desert Shield and Desert Storm. Uh, I was a uh, helicopter crew chief uh, for that time. And so, kept the helicopters running. So first thing we look for is the electrical. Um, make sure the fan's running, uh, make sure there's no shorts anywhere, make sure there's no danger of a short or anything like that. And the second thing we do is once we ensure all electrical components are fine, we check the gas, we check the gas pressure. And once gas pressure checks out, we check all the safeties, make sure if there was an emergency that it would turn itself off. And finally, once we have all the safeties checked, we'll turn the unit on and we'll check to see if there's any leaks in the heat exchanger. And a result of that would be the, the dreaded word carbon monoxide, um, which is the silent killer as it's known. And uh, it's really easily detected. We have special equipment where we can stick and see if there's any uh, carbon monoxide, um, which we had nothing of like that. And we actually put it in the combustion uh, exhaust, which normally has carbon monoxide because it's a byproduct of combustion and it was very low levels even so if even if there was a leak it would be unlikely to hurt anybody which there wasn't and everything actually turned out to be pretty good no major issues no issues at all we had to clean a condensate pump and that's about it that was the only only thing that really needed our attention was a dirty condensate pump which would have resulted with water on the ground which you would have noticed that uh, if there was anything like that. Well, it's a great service. Um, just uh, having the peace of mind that, that uh, the furnace is working right and you don't have to worry about, like he said, the carbon monoxide dangers and stuff because the furnace is tuned up and working the way it should.